people from YouTube, how have you been? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we are going to try something different. We are going to make all of our meals for a full day on a mug. Beautiful. I'm only gonna cook dinner in this mug. So apparently mug meals are a thing and I didn't know about it. I found out that there's people like that have YouTube channels or blogs and 100% of their content is recipes that you can make on a mug and do it on a microwave. Today we are going to make four mug recipes. For breakfast we are having some granola. For lunch we're having an omelet. Afternoon a sweet snack will be a french toast and dinner will be pizza yes we're making pizza in a mug wow interesting right good morning welcome to my very messy kitchen someone didn't do the dishes last night but i'm here to make breakfast i'm going to make a mug recipe of granola that i saw and if you want to try it i'll leave it on the description i'm kind of low on energy because i just woke up and i didn't eat yet so let's let's make food i'm gonna be using this big mug because it's big and, and uh, i mean if it's too small it's not gonna be too filling especially for lunch and dinner and this is one of the only ones that actually says that it's safe to microwave this one and the one i have for starbucks are the two that i'm going to use because they're the only ones that i am sure that are microwave safe okay and big i have another one but it's very tiny so we're gonna do it here One tablespoon is maple syrup. I'm a maple syrup. I have my tablespoon. One tablespoon. Oh my god, that's more than a tablespoon, but it's okay. And she said vegetable oil. Two teaspoons. Two tablespoons. One and two. Ah. Now I think we put mixed maple syrup, water, oil, oil, salt, and oats. Again, it's to, to, with water. Two teaspoons of water. Where's my water? Ooh. Ooh. One teaspoon of water. One eighth of a teaspoon. Bam. One eighth. Which is like a pinch. Oh my god, that's too much salt. A pinch of salt. Oats. Four tablespoons of oats. My oats are hiding behind all this stuff. Four tablespoons, what is it? Let's see. One, two, three, and four. I also put a tablespoon of nuts in here and I need to crush them. I'm sorry that I'm not moving the camera. Look, I'm mixing oats with maple syrup. I think that's a... Is that a tablespoon for you guys? I think it's a tablespoon. I'm gonna try and crush them with my hands. Okay, and now we mix with the walnuts in there. Microwave one minute and 30 seconds and stir. Okay, so we start with one minute and 30 seconds. Did you notice how I look at that and the camera went like, nope, nope. This is the way it looks like. It's like totally on the bottom. It smells a lot of like caramel. I think it's because of the maple syrup. Oh, it smells so good. I think after stirring it now, I'm supposed to put it in the microwave for another minute. Oh my God, it smells so good. That's it. On the recipe, you're supposed to add coconut and I didn't because I don't have coconut. This looks pretty simple and it smells really good. I'm just gonna add some skier to it and some blueberries and I'm just gonna eat it like that. So yeah, it smells good. So I hope it tastes good. I'll, I'll, let's go for a taste test kind of thing. God, it got a really nice color now. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. It's really crunchy. Mmm. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. I make my own granola. It's just that in a very, very tiny proportion. But this is really good. Mmm. Mm. I approve. Move on to lunch. Mmm. 
it's lunchtime and we're gonna have an omelette. Okay, we need two eggs. We have here half an avocado, which is not on the recipe, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. So to the mug, we're gonna add two eggs. I'm gonna add this recipe on the app. Here I have half of a red bell pepper. We're also going to add half or a quarter of a cup of this spinach. Great source of protein with very few calories. I'm also gonna add the alpha of avocado in here. Then you mix it, you put it in a microwave, two to three minutes, and that's it, mug omelette. So let's crack the egg in there. One, two, put all the stuff, all the stuff. A pinch of black pepper, a pinch of salt, and we mix. And this is why I I want to try but Oh, it looks very pretty. All the colors mixing there. Looks really nice. So we're gonna microwave it. Let's start with two minutes. Actually, it doesn't say if it's like two minutes on high, two minutes on medium. Let's just do two minutes. I'm so hungry. Stay hydrated. Guys, whenever a recipe says between two to three minutes. Do you also do two minutes and a half? Because I mean, it's either two minutes or three minutes. You can say between. If you say between, it's two minutes and a half in my book. So you can just say two minutes and a half, right? We're approaching the two minutes. Is anything spilling? Nothing is spilling. Two minutes, not fast. Getting a clock because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Well, it, it looks like on the recipe. That's good. It smells like an omelette. This is what it looks like. Is it focused? I cannot tell. It looks like this. It's too hot, but we need to taste test. Oh, it's not cooked fully. I'm gonna have to leave it a little more. There's some parts of the egg in the middle that are not fully cooked. And I like my eggs fully cooked. So it's three minutes, everybody. It's three minutes, not two minutes and a half. Not two minutes. It's very Or you cook it on high. Maybe they should have said cook it on high. Why didn't they say that? Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry that even if it tastes like shit, it's still gonna be good. That's the moment of truth. How does it taste? Uh -huh. mm -mm. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. I mean, the reason why I chose this omelette recipe, it's because it has all the ingredients I like. I like ham, and bell peppers, and it has spinach. So it has all ingredients that I know I would like. I approve. I mean, if you don't want to get your pan dirty, this is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that my boyfriend will want to add some cheese onto this, but for me, it's perfect. I approve of this mug recipe, and I will see you guys when I make my afternoon snack. We're back in the kitchen for our afternoon sweets. Today is Sunday and on Sundays, most Sundays, it's like a cheat day. So we have sweets in the afternoon. And when I saw this French toast on a mug kind of recipe, I was like, that looks amazing. And I do, I do some French toasts here and there. So let's see how this compares to what I usually do. I'm gonna make two types and I'm gonna make one for me, one for my boyfriend and I'm gonna make them different and I'm gonna try both. So let's do it. I'm gonna use this bread, the type of bread used for French toast. It's usually like, you know, the slice kind of bread, but here it only comes in this shape. So I'm gonna put some bread and I'm gonna put a layer of whatever fruit we are using on this one. And then I'll cover with more bread. I'm gonna do the same on the other one too. We're not doing them at exactly the same time, but almost this one will have a bit more. So probably I'll, I'll make this one for him and this one for me. So one of them is going to have banana and chocolate and the other one will have blueberry and the sauce will be cinnamon and vanilla. How to not peel a banana? Banana is fighting me. Okay, so now we put more bread until the cup is full of bread. So you see it's full and now I'm gonna put more on top. But I, I wanna make this one first because I wanna give it to him. Has some blueberries in the middle. Where's my phone? Houston, I lost my phone. And the phone has the recipe. The main point is the bread. And now I need to do the egg meal. One egg, 
two tablespoons of milk, one fourth of cinnamon, and half of vanilla. So it puts bread, some blueberry, bread again, the rest of the blueberries, and the egg mix. One egg. So it's like one fourth of a tablespoon of cinnamon, half of vanilla, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. Half is just two fourths, so I'm gonna use the same spoon. Cinnamon, uh, cinnamon, vanilla. Then I also need two tablespoons of milk. Two tablespoons. One, two. Now we mix. <laughs> This is what I usually do when I do French toast. I don't usually add blueberries because I don't usually have blueberries in hand. But this is how I do my mixture. I think it's not enough. I think it's because the, the mug is so big. It should be like half of the side because I want all of it to be... Okay. It should be the double of cream, I guess. Too much bread, not enough of the cream. This video is not making sense at all. On the video, it looks like the egg covers the bread. Worst case scenario, it's gonna be too dry, right? Okay, on here, we have one egg again. This is for my banana one. This one, I think it's chocolate. 20 seconds more. Oh, I thought it was overflowing, but it's not. I was so scared for a second. 10, 9, 8, 7. Ooh. It was coming up. It smells oh oh it does smell like a French toast. Here it is how it looks. I'm gonna take one piece with a blueberry. It does not look very wet. Wet do 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 oh beautiful <laughs> mm. Mm. It does taste like a French toast, but in a mug. It's a French toast. On to the banana chocolate one. Quickly, before the battery dies. I want to get a bit of chocolate, a bit of banana, and the bread. Oh my god, look at that. It looks weird. It looks weird. Can you see it's brown because of the chocolate? I have a piece of banana in there. And the can is gone. And the battery is dying again. Look, look. Banana, chocolate. We, we went over this already. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, if you don't know that banana and chocolate are a great combination, I don't know what kind of life you've been growing. But this and the French toast, Mmm, yes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I don't know which one I like most, so I'm just gonna continue making both. Because the vanilla cinnamon on French toast, it's really good. It's my normal French toast flavor. It's awesome. But this banana chocolate one just blew my mind. This is good. I approve. It's time to cook dinner. It's actually past. Oh my god, it's almost 9 p.m. Um, we are making a pizza in this mug right here. Oh my god, that's a Christmas mug. It's actually, I wanted to do it in this one because it is smaller than the other ones I've been using. If you if you look at the one I, I was using, this one, and you compare the size, it's a lot smaller and I don't really eat that much for dinner and I'm not really hungry. I honestly haven't been that hungry for the past week because of the heat wave. Please go away. I'm tired of the heat. Winter come back. Pizza. Yes. Let's go. So, what do we need? Flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt. The recipe has olive oil, but I feel like it's way too much. I'm, I'm tempted to not put any olive oil. I'll just put cooking oil instead. I think it has less cal calories. Cooking oil. Okay, that's for the base. Four tablespoons of flour. I got some vegan protein, you know, powder protein, put on smoothies or something for when I do the Chloe Ting challenge. And it's made of pea. And pea, as in P E A, not P E E, obviously. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. One, two, three, and four. Then, one eighth of a teaspoon. How, is, how do you measure an eighth? a teaspoon. Damn. It's a very tiny, small amount. A pinch of salt. We started with a pinch. And then we put the liquids and we mix again. So the liquids are three tablespoons of milk and one tablespoon of oil. Oh shit, that's a lot. And we mix and mix and mix. Oh my god, look how delicious it looks. Angry fork noises. Okay, so officially on the recipe, it says one tablespoon of salt. And I'm just going to use tomato sauce because I'm lazy. One tablespoon of tomato sauce. And then you have to 
to the sides or put more that's what i like to do so the idea is that you have to cover the surface with some tomato and the recipe says that one tablespoon is enough to cover the bottom and i'm already on three so now we put the cheese and what the recipe says is two tablespoons of cheese we're just gonna throw cheese in there and what she uses for toppings is chili pepper olives i don't have pepperoni her pizza is a pepperoni pizza but I have bacon, it's also good. I'm on a process of trying to slow down on cheese, but it's 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 really hard. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on the microwave now. Wish me luck. Microwave for one minute or until it rises up. Hello, welcome back. I'm gonna leave it for more 30 seconds. So 20, 10, 9. Oh my god, it's coming up, it's coming up. Should I take it out? I mean, the cheese melted. No, usually when you make pizza, cheese melting is the way pizza tells us the pizza is ready. It's gonna be too hot. We're gonna have some food on a mug. <laughs> that was weird. You're going to see me experiment on something that I don't know how is it gonna be. And it's this, I bought this lime shorl. This is a rosé. It's a 5.9 alcohol. The rosé has a guitar. I don't know. I was like, a rosé in a can. I don't need to finish the whole bottle. That sounds nice. I don't know if it's, this is gonna be good, but we're gonna try. And I hate drinking from cans, so I'm drinking wine with the straw. It's not bad. The fact that it's doing this, it's kind of annoying. But it's it's like a, a bubbly, bubbly wine, you know, like champagne kind of, but it's a rosé. I'm not great with wines. It just tastes like rosé. I don't know what to say. Oh my God, look at what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened. It rose and these parts got stuck on the core. But not thinking about that, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys have this in your country, but here, especially if you go out at night, there's a certain like coffee places, like places where you go and get a beer. Not really a pub or a bar, but places that have food, they have these slices of pizza that cost like one euro this kind of looks like it and those are usually good okay this this is a legit piece that has bread under 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 and then a piece of tomato with cheese on top there's no bacon but mm, okay there's definitely pizza vibes in there i gave some to my boyfriend and he was like it's good it tastes good, but it's not pizza. So um, we are ordering pizza tomorrow because because he was like, I need pizza now because that was not pizza. I mean, I don't really like the base. I will not do this one again. I will finish it. We'll not do it again. And that's it. That is it. We ate meals from a mug for 24 hours. Did you like the video? Would you like to see more food related videos? Let me know, write down a comment. Tell me what other videos you would enjoy watching. What would be entertaining for you? What are you looking out there on the YouTube? Thank you so much for watching guys. I changed my stream schedule because streaming on weekdays was really good when I was working from home. But now that I have to commute and I have to go to the company and I come home and I'm a lot more tired than usual, I also have been waking up a lot earlier so I go to bed a lot earlier. So I now stream on the weekends. So if you wanna hang out on the weekends, come by my Twitch channel. If you want to see pictures of food, follow my Instagram, my food Instagram, patty underscore co underscore food. Don't forget to like this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.